morning. I got a fantastic new extension to uh, show off today. Um, and recently, uh, Google moved to this kind of like app launcher as opposed to that black bar that went across the top, um, which always really frustrated me because I couldn't customize it. I couldn't move the apps to kind of match my workflow. Uh, and it, again, it, w it was frustrating because a lot of the time I was finding myself going to that more menu and having to dig down to, to find exactly what it was I was looking for. But there's a fantastic new extension that allows you to customize uh, this uh, app launcher. And in fact, you can get rows of, or columns, sorry, of four or five. So if you head into the Chrome Web Store, okay. And you're just going to search the store for App Launcher. Okay, and this first one, App Launcher Customizer, we're just going to add that. Okay, my internet's a little slow this morning, but okay, it basically opens this thing up. Okay, tells you okay that it has indeed been installed so now you just have to go into your settings go into your extensions okay and then click on options and you can see that on the right hand side you have what your actual uh, current app launcher is going to look like but you've got a whole bunch of other uh, Google services that are available so from inside of here let me just add a couple that I'm going to use on a regular basis um, docs as an example if I want to create a brand new doc I can do that just by clicking on it. Let's see what else we've got here. Forms. So if I want to create a form, I do that quite a bit. Um, let's see what else we've got. I use keep. Um, I use sheets. Oh, there's the one I'm looking for. Sites. Oh, there's slides too. Good enough for right now. Now I'm just going to make sure there's Okay, I don't use Blogger, so I'm going to get rid of it. I'm going to get rid of Shopping. I'm going to get rid of Wallet. I'm going to get rid of Translate. Um, I don't use uh, Play Store here at school. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So now I can just customize this list to meet my needs. Oh, there's another one in here that's a good one. Under Gmail, it is New Email. Okay, so I'm going to put that New Email right at the top. I want my calendar right beside it. I use Google Plus a lot. I don't need the web search. Let me put my slides and my sheets in with the docs and the forms. Gmail is going to go to the top. Okay, put the drive above that. Okay, looks great. So now what I need to do is just go back. Let me just uh, do it. Go back to Google quickly. And if you try to, uh, if you try to open this in a tab that you currently had open you might have to refresh it for the first time but now when you click on it you can see okay I've got a customized uh, app launcher I've now got four columns and you can actually get five uh, but there's a few and I can totally customize this any way that I want uh, so for example if I click on Gmail it's gonna actually open up Gmail for me okay right into a brand new message so really really handy one other thing that I do want to point out under the configuration if I hit configure that you can also add a custom shortcut. So, for example, we might say, I want to have a link to the Hunting Hills website. Okay, and I don't even know what the web address is off the top of my head, but there it is. So I'll just copy that, come back into the app launcher. Oh, what happened to it? Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Hunting Hills. High school. Okay, URL, paste that thing in. And then if you want, you can actually go to Google and add an icon. So I'm just gonna go Google. I'm gonna type school icon. And I just want to find a quick come on. Sure, that looks good. Let me just open that guy up. I'll just copy the image URL, come back in here, icon URL, save the service. There it is at the bottom. I'm just going to drag it to the top. Okay, so you can do this with any websites uh, that you go to frequently, school sites. For our staff, I would get them to add our staff hub into this list as well. 
Okay, now again, when I just come back into the uh, Google one, if I click on this, you'll notice that it's not there. I just have to refresh it for that one time, and then boom, it's right there. I click on the tab, and there we go, right to the website. So, fantastic extension that I think you guys are going to use a lot. Have a great day.